Alright, so today we're doing part three of building the two-speed fully suspension off-road go-kart. Now, now in this video we can finally start focusing on installing the shocks, getting the steering hooked up. Uh, I need to, one thing I do need to do before on that, I need to finish all the stuff up here. And um, then we can start focusing on finalizing where the engine needs to go, finalizing where the uh, two-speed transmission is going to go, and hopefully hooking up all that stuff. Also, I need to uh, go to the scrapyard and get some more ma material for the floor pan. But uh, anyway, let's just uh, continue working on this thing and see how far we get. just installed the rear shocks and it's not being held up by bricks anymore it's able to roll back and forth freely and something I didn't really take into consideration is how strong these rear shocks are the front work fine they're a little bit stiff but it, I'm gonna be adding a lot more weight to the front so the the uh, the front should be fine but the rear shocks they're way too stiff and Remember, I have to really be careful about, you know, jumping on this because everything's only uh, tacked together still. But, um, the rear shocks are incredibly stiff. I'm putting all my weight over right here, and um, it's not even, you know, pushing the shocks down at all. I know I'm going to be adding an engine to right here, but it's going to be directly over the rear axle. It's not going to be, you know, on this frame and... Really, it's not going to affect the suspension that much, but yeah, I can basically jump on this whole thing and it barely moves. So, if I want to have any suspension at all in the rear, I need to adjust the rear shocks 
so uh, so they actually work. I'm gonna have to just cut the shocks off and uh, reinstall them. I'm gonna have to put the bottom of the shock closer to the pivot point right here, so therefore it uh, works a lot better. Not a big deal, it's just that, that tack right there just broke. <sighs> Dang it. Hang on. Yep, didn't I say I had to be careful? Uh, right there, that, uh, that broke. No big deal, I'll just uh, re-weld it on. So we just got the engine mounted and the two-speed transmission all mounted. We got a little bit more welding done on the frame. I had to strengthen up some couple of, a couple of uh, spots. And uh, now I can finally start focusing on uh, the steering of this go-kart. So this is a rack and pinion from Go Power Sports, and it's going to go somewhere right around here.
so the go-kart is finally standing up on its own. It's able to roll back and forth. The suspension works pretty well. It, uh, it's a little bit stiff, but, you know, it does move up and down. The front suspension is, you know, pretty stiff. But, you know, to me, this is pretty stiff. But I'm able to, you know, move it with my own weight. And, uh, you know, when I'm in the middle of it, when I'm going to be sitting on here, it does move. So, you know, it, uh, it works pretty well. Now, I'm going to be adding some more weight to here. You know, I'm going to be adding the engine to the back of here, but the engine is not going to really affect the weight. It's not going to be adding any weight to the middle. It's going to be directly over the rear axle. So, you know, with the uh, with that, it's not, going to, it's not going to really affect it. And we're also going to be, you know, adding a lot more steel. Um, you know, the floor pan's going to weigh a lot and all that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of thinking about adding a piece of sheet metal to this part right here. You know that cover up this whole section right here with a piece of sheet metal. Also covering up these, uh, these side panels right here with sheet metal on both sides. And also possibly this top piece right here in the middle. Put some uh, sheet metal over there. I kind of want to do that, but I don't know. Um, it may just add unnecessary weight to it. And it may just, you know, be unnecessary. I kind of like the look of it right now, but um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should I add you know, the sheet metal to here, over here, and some other places. Uh, what I may do is that, uh, take some cardboard and just tape it on there just to see what it would look like. And uh, if I really like it, then I'll do it. But if not, then um, then I won't. But uh, yeah, so next video of this project, we'll be focusing on getting the steering wheel installed, the steering column, the floor panel, and a lot more stuff. Hopefully getting the engine installed and uh, finalizing all that and remember I've only been tacking everything on that's how I build this kind of stuff so uh, you know it's just tack it on and then you know once I uh, figure out and finalize where everything's gonna be going I'm gonna be taking everything off and welding this thing all out so I still need to do that I'll probably do that in the next video of this project but uh but yeah now I have to thank Go Power Sports for sending me all these parts that I've been using for this project all the parts that I've put on here now and all the parts that they have sent me that I haven't put on here yet. I have to thank them for all that stuff, and I will be leaving links in the description below to all the parts that I have been using for this project. Go check that out. But, uh, but yeah, I think this video is long enough as it is. Uh, I have to end the video here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, and have a nice day.